Diego, congratulations. 22 years old to get your 20th professional win, but you had to work for this one tonight. What did you think of your performance? Uh, it was a good performance. You know, I knew Costa was going to be tough. You know, he came and gave me a great fight, but this is what I needed at this point in my career. And, uh, you know, it was a great experience. Went nine rounds, and, uh, and, and yeah, I'm, I'm just happy with the outcome, happy with everyone who came out to support, and it was just a great night. You said you knew Coceres was going to be tough, and he is a lot better than his record in recent fights. What was he showing you in those middle rounds when it seemed like he was landing some shots? Uh, he was just throwing awkward punches that uh, a few of them I didn't see coming, but I picked up quick on him, and, and he didn't land them anymore after, after I caught on to him. What adjustments did you make? Because from ringside, it looked like you went a little bit away from more of the boxing, made it more of a fight in those final few rounds. Uh, yeah, you know, after boxing a few rounds, you know, I wanted to stay in the pocket a little bit more, uh, you know, stay in there where I could counter him, but, uh, but he was tough. You know, he, he has a lot of experience. Uh, he for sure knows what he's doing when he's in that ring, and uh, it's just a great experience for me, and I'm ready to move on 20-0, uh, and, and just can't wait for, the, for 2024. Take me through the finish of this fight. I think we'll put it up there on the screen. You had a flurry. You landed a big uppercut in the corner and put him down. What were you looking for with those final shots? Uh, to get him out of there, you know, he, he was taking uh, some good shots, but uh, I knew prior to that combination I had him a little hurt, so I just uh, stepped on it a little bit and, and got him out of there. You've knocked out a lot of guys, knocked out a lot of guys. He was on one knee when he took that knockdown. Were you surprised he didn't get up? Uh, yeah, honestly, I thought he was going to get up. You know, I, I didn't think that was going to be the finish, but, uh, you know, only, only he knows how, how hard those punches came in. And, uh, and yeah, man, uh, you know, if, if he would have got up, he would have got hurt a lot more. Your recent fights have been something of a learning experience. You've faced different styles in several of your recent fights. What do you take away from a fight like this? Uh, just, you know, the experience, you know, being in there with a guy who's, who's been in world championship fights against some of the top guys in the division. Uh, you know, none of them were, were able to get him out of there like I was. So, um, you know, just uh, proud with the performance. You know, I know I could have done a lot of things a lot better. There's always room for improvement, you know, so now I'm going to go back into the gym and get ready for, for the next year. You know, it's hard to classify what you are, prospect or a contender. You're only 22 years old, so you're by definition a prospect, but you're top 10 in all four of the sanctioning bodies. You're top three in the WBO. You've got some hardware already around your belt. Do you feel like a contender? Do you feel like you're ready for big things in 2024? Uh, most definitely. You know, I feel I'm one of the top guys in the division. Uh, you know, I'm 22 years old. I'm not a real a big vocal guy who, who comes out and says it, but uh, everyone around me says it. Eddie Hearn thinks the same thing. A lot of the boxing experts say I'm ready for the big fights, and, and let's get it on. You know, 2024, I'm ready for whoever. All right, well, you got a vocal guy next to you in Eddie Hearn who knows how to talk. Eddie, what do you think of his performance, and what is Diego Pacheco ready for? Well, firstly, I think one thing's for sure. South Central has a new superstar in Diego Pacheco. You know? that, was, that was exactly what he needed at this point in his career. You know, he got hit too much in there, probably respected Caceres a little bit too much, but it was the patience, it was the composure, and in the end, the power's too much. He's 22 years of age. Just 22, this young man has everything at his feet in a super middleweight division. It's one of the glamour divisions of the sport. You've got the greats like Canelo Alvarez. But honestly, as far as American prospects go, this young man is legit. I believe he's going to go on and have a massive 2024. And we need those top 15 guys now. We keep the progression. We keep moving on. We've had this man till seven, since he was 17. As I said, South Central Los Angeles should be very proud of Diego Pacheco. He's a, he's a good role model, he's a good ambassador, and he's a future world champion for sure. Diego, before I let you go, it's been a big year for you. You headline in the UK, you headline in Mexico. What did it mean to you to headline in your backyard here in LA? Oh man, it's just like a dream come true. You know, when I headlined in the UK, it wasn't even supposed to happen, but it happened. I stepped up to the plate, uh, performed how I was supposed to. Uh, I went to Mexico, did the same thing, not to do it in my backyard. Man, it's a dream come true. You know, I couldn't be more grateful for Matchroom, the zone, everyone who's brought me to this point. And I'm just ready to, to move forward, man, take on the big fights and keep headlining all around the world. Congratulations, Diego. Thank you. Guys. Well, Diego Pacheco. Biggest night of his career, the biggest step up of his career, maybe the prettiest knockout of his career as well. And